Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Daily Dose of Clash of Clans. Ah, sheesh. Ah, sheesh. <sighs> I hope you guys are having a fantastic Mother's Day. Um, Mine's going 50-50. So, um, you know, I'm just hoping that you guys are enjoying it and having a good one. Um, I literally just recorded an um, amazing first part to the video and then it ended so uh that was bunk i don't i don't understand why my software just chooses and when it chooses not to respond and not to not respond so i don't understand i'm really praying to god that it doesn't happen this time and um figuring this out so what i did do in that video which i'm just going to recap because i pretty much can't reshow you guys by doing it live is i did my clan war attacks and then um i also attacked in the builder base so uh yeah and i bought some training potions so i came here bought some training potions and pretty much bought as much as i could so that was awesome um i uh i pretty much uh went through and as i said i attacked in war so clearly you guys can see that they're three stars but i'm going to show you them um anyways so what i did with this base before i even start um i attacked right here with my um with my earthquake spells and then i kind of moved in right here through the top area and then kind of flooded in my troops this way so i kind of moved them in here and then um did that and then it just it worked out very well i'll show you guys what i mean so you see i'm laying those earthquake spells as i said laid my troops in through the top and um definitely came in here and moved in it was a really good attack um i was surprised that it, it worked so well because i hate bases like this i literally hate bases that are so spread out like that and um they're just they're just the epitome but uh but my troops did what they needed to do had to lay some valkyries down over here to kind of get rid of some other stuff but uh but it all worked out laid some valkyries down here to get rid of these troops so to make sure that my bowlers went on the inside of the base and um made sure that uh everything went accordingly as i'm telling you my builder my bowlers are really like an important part to this base like if i mean to this attack strategy like if you get the bowlers to go in on the inside like you're pretty much set like these things are really really good so i rage my bowlers get the bowlers in raging um they take out the town hall super quick i lay a healing spell over there because i needed it laid a free spell um right on uh a single shot inferno that was about to die but hey we still got the three stars so it didn't even matter um kind of came in here and uh clutched it up um my queen was doing her thing over here i laid my bat spells over here so that they could start doing ground control and clearing off the rest of the base at this point i literally had too much damage so like too much just power so i knew it was just gonna be really really good so at this point i knew i was doing a good job um but uh but yeah so i have these in here and um they're doing a really good job uh my queen comes in and starts taking down the uh electro dragon and then it was just over there was no defenses left to destroy the base and then my bat spells just come in and start cleaning up the base and uh yeah they do a really really good job of that always look how fast they just start destroying stuff so it's just like you can't beat that but yeah no so that was that and uh with that i ended up uh a little straggler joining at the last second and i got a three star ah sheesh so that was good that was the first guy in the war and you know you're if you're first in war you always gotta go for the first guy so that's just how it goes but uh but yeah so then um i come in here and do the second guy and then for this guy what i decided to do was i'll show you guys what the base looks like first and um i decided to kind of come in here and uh lay the earthquake spell like right here ish and um take out this 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 and kind of clear up this whole middle area and then i kind of was like well i'll do i'll lay my troops here up top and kind of get them to swoop in so they kind of swooped in and it, it just worked out great it worked out flawless exactly how i wanted it to work out so that was a blessing um as you see the earthquake spells are going to go down and i destroyed this guy actually pretty qu fairly quick so the earthquake spell did a phenomenal job cleared out exactly what i wanted it to clear out 
laid in my golems over here and uh, got my golems going in and then I laid my tr uh, wizards on the outside kind of cleared off the base there really wasn't too much it wasn't like he had anything right here or had anything right here it was pretty much like an easy side to pick off so once I did that I laid my bowlers in here and my bowlers were able to go in and do a really good job and then I just laid everything in and I still have wizards left over in and in Valkyrie so it was just really good um, and then I laid my I used my uh, warden's ability a little late there was two um, what in uh, eagle artillery shots that had already gone off but I had raged my bowlers here um, I had played a healing spell here laid another healing spell here raged my king because he was on a single shot inferno uh, tower and I knew that was gonna pick him apart about right here is like the turning point it's either you make or break it but I still had a decent amount of troops up here I had my king still going off right here and I had two pekkas going off here and I just laid my bad spells so this was just getting started so my bad spells come in here and they literally do such a good job they immediately just start dale on damage and uh just start gutting the base so that was good and um they they destroyed the uh eagle artillery they destroy that expo pretty quickly and um then i just have this and once i got to this point i was like oh i'm gonna win this there's no way i don't so i literally won this and uh did a good job here and um I knew that I was going to win this because of where I was at. And then, yeah, literally just got a three-star. I attacked, I, I defeated that guy pretty quick, so I was proud about that. I was like, sheesh, ah, sheesh. Ah, so that was really cool. I was really happy that I was able to do that and um, get that attack off really, really well. So I was very proud about that. Got six stars for my war, and um, before I... Uh, before we started, I was, uh, we were at, I think we were at, uh, 11 stars and we, and we, we got pushed up to 17. So that was really cool that I was able to get those six stars for our clan war. No one's attacked me yet. I mean, as I said, I don't blame them. I hate this base. <laughs> I would hate to go up against this base. Um, I mean, like, it's just so overpowered. I mean, I have my double cannon right here. I have my multi-motor right here. I have my multi-archer right here. And then I just have all my uh, hidden Teslas right here. And, um... They're just they're just so powerful and I have all of my builder huts right here So like literally all my builder huts are like right around here and they're all healing the uh, Town hall and the eagle artillery. So it's just this one's really overpowered I know you guys said you wanted me to leave the link to my bases in The clan chat. I'm wondering how I do that. I'm wondering if I just hit share a link how does this work? So my link was copied to my clipboard. So I'm thinking that if I, I'll, I'll figure out how to link my base. So that, that way you guys can um, use my base. So I'll figure that out. I think that if I paste it into my text messages, I'll be able to get it or something in my Google Drive. And then I'll be able to copy it out or something. I'll figure it out for y'all. But, uh, and then the only other thing I did here was I attacked in war. I mean, I attacked in here, and then I literally did this, and so this was, I'm showing this off because you guys know I don't like the builder base. So before this starts, I literally was just like, I don't know, I'm just going to attack over here and try to go for the heaviest stuff first. So I tried going for this, uh, the hidden Tesla first because that thing's a pain in the butt to try to attack. So I was just like, I'm just going to go here. Flawless that the golems literally got my uh barbarian uh my giants they got the um spring trap down first and then literally the uh crusher was literally stunned by the hog riders so that was perfect about like right here when i had these barbarians extra i was like okay this is looking good i got extra barbarians okay normally that don't happen so i was hoping that they would go in and do a bunch of extra damage and they sure did they came in here and literally started doing a bunch of damage to the whole base and like at this point i'm already at 30 some and this right here my cannons literally started targeting on the town hall and at this point i was just like yes 
<sighs> so I knew I was guaranteed at least a two star. And then my packets go in, they hit that, destroy that, and then my, my cannons move over here, and then I see that they're not getting targeted by these hidden Teslas. So I was like, that's dope, because they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do, being the cavalry and coming in. I was hoping this one didn't get targeted, but he didn't. And uh, yeah, at this point, I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm about to get a three star. So I literally got a three star on Clan Wars, two three stars on Clan Wars, and then literally came in here and got a three star on my builder base. So I was just like, all right, okay, I see you, Super Cell. That's awesome. So I literally was just having a good time and literally just destroying it all. So I was very, very happy about that. And, uh, literally was just super super dope so i was just super happy about that and um super excited about that but um but yeah so that ended up happening um so i was i so that, that was just really cool super excited but um now that that happened i think my troops are already done training almost for the most part i'm actually thinking that um they'll be done by the time i'm done attacking so now i can actually do another attack while i'm on on cam so that actually kind of worked out pretty well so I'm going to come in here and do an attack, figure this out. This guy has a decent amount of loot. He doesn't have as much gold as I would like, so I'm probably going to skip him. Um, Maybe? Should I? No. So I'm going to skip him real quick, and uh, this guy is, has... I'm, I'm just going to three-star this guy real quick because that's just going to make me feel better. So I'm just going to three-star this guy real quick, and um, literally... Just work my way into his base. Um, you get clear out the outside for with my wizards. I got I got the guy actually watching me, so that's funny. Um, the bowlers are gonna go in here, so I'm thinking that the bowlers are gonna go in on the inside of the base. Yes, they did. So that's cool. And then I got my Valkyries, and then I'm gonna send my Pekka's in, and then I'm gonna do this. None of them. Oh man. Oh no, oh no, gotta heal those up, gotta heal those up, freeze that, get that in there, hopefully, man, most of my bowlers died, so I don't understand, half of my bowlers went in on the outside of the base, so that, okay, that kind of sucked, but um, there's a tornado trap going off right now, he didn't quite get my king, so that was good, um, I'm trying to destroy some of these multi infernos before i use my king's ability but it doesn't look like i'm gonna have time because uh i just have to destroy this and then that between that wizard tower and that multi inferno they destroyed all my barbarians so that was something that had happened but it's okay um if my troops would have went on the inside this definitely would have been a three star but uh but yeah no it's all good um my electric owl is doing a good job there my queen's still shooting it off got a valkyrie going in so that's really cool i don't know what health my valkyrie's at i'm about to find out now and uh, she's still a good amount of health so she's just acting like a tank and destroying everything that needs to be destroyed um my queen's about to take some damage so i'm probably about to heal her right now and um yeah, kind of get that going in. I'm hoping that I... Oh, I got a 90%. So, if I would have went in on the base, I definitely would have got a 3-star. And there's really not a lot left on this base. It's pretty much just a hidden Tesla. I mean, not a hidden Tesla. Uh, a multi-inferno and uh, an archer tower. Uh, my bad, an expo. But, uh, yeah, I'm not... There's no way I'm going to get that. My queen doesn't have enough health. And um, I just don't have enough troops laid in, so that's something that just is a bummer but uh but yeah so i'm just looking at it like what can i really do you know what i mean but uh but yeah so you know you see because look my queen's dead didn't even get a shot off and then look at that multi in front of yeah like i knew that was gonna happen but sheesh 98 percent. that's pretty good i'll take that <laughs> man i almost got three stars for days three stars for days so i'm just very excited Hey, man. I hope you're having a great Mother's Day. So that's exciting that that happened. So, um, yeah, I got my troops literally. It says two minutes left for them to be done, so I, I might just stay on real quick while they're just training the six bowlers, 
and um just kind of just talk real quick um i just wanted to say i ooh, nice nice yes <laughs> see <laughs> Oh, I got the 15% reduction. I got a resource potion that I could use. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to use the resource potion real quick. And get that going so that that way I can use this one. And just kind of get that all taken care of. Um, I got runes of gold. Runes of elixir. I got some dark elixir. I'm wondering what my what my uh, royal champion's at. Dang, she's pricey. Like, what is that? Like, why is it so much money? <laughs> oh man i don't know but uh but that's that sucks but i got about 20 20 some seconds left until i can attack again so um i just wanted to say i really 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 appreciate your guys's support on the channel um literally you guys have just been killing it with all the views all the likes and the comments and you guys have just been subscribing and i just can't even believe it like it's just a blessing being able to get to see you guys just help move the momentum of this channel and i've been really trying hard to get the frequency of these videos up i'm going to try to post this video today um it's going to go up a lot later than i want it to but still nonetheless you guys are going to get a video today so i'm just very excited about the growth um of the channel maybe i'm going to put this video up tomorrow um because it is a little bit later than i want to so it might go up on monday but uh if it does no worries guys you know it just had, I've had a busy day. It's Mother's Day, and um, I got a I had a lot going on, and um, I had some personal things that had taken place, and so I just had to deal with all of that stuff. But um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna go here, and um, yeah, kind of get another attack in real quick. But uh, let's see let's see what's going on. Um, looking like he has a decent amount of loot. I'm wondering, do I attack him? Do I not attack him? Um, I'm thinking I could get a lot if I place this right here. Wow, I really did get a lot. So that was that was a good that was a good placement on the earthquake spell. So I'm really happy with that, and um, just kind of getting that going. I uh, getting this in here. Those walls are about to be destroyed. So I'm hoping that um that helps destroy a little bit of the base kind of get the bowlers going in here and hopefully they go in on the inside of the base kind of get my my royal my grand warden's ability in before that the uh eagle artillery comes down i laid an earthquake spell let's play a freeze right here hopefully oh i did get them all that is awesome that was a perfect freeze spell so that was really really cool and i got my king and my um I got my king being healed up. Um, he's gonna go in. I think he needs to get raged, even though that there's a there's a, a multi inferno. It still needs to happen because he was definitely taking damage. Um, my royal champion had to boost her up because she was taking damage. She's still taking damage, but uh, but this was a good attack so far. High two star for sure. And um, I don't know where my queen's at. She's over here just on her own la la land as always doesn't surprise me but um but she's also getting healed from her unicorn so that's pretty cool i still have some valkyries going up so that's really exciting and um yeah so that's really 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 cool but uh but yeah so that's that's exciting getting that up and just figuring that out um as i said i really pray god that this responds when i end the recording because i really do not want to re-record this twice so that would be a blessing but it looks like i might actually get a three star actually because my queen still has her ability and my warden's going in and i still have some bowlers so if i could get through this uh wizard tower real quick yes i just got a three star ha <laughs> ah, see three stars for days literally getting so many three stars i love it i literally love it that's such a blessing <laughs> Man, that's so cool. Like, literally, it's just so cool. I, I'm loving it. Just getting three stars on top of three stars on top of three stars. I'm wondering if there's anything that I could do to research. Um, Literally, all my elixir troops are done. Uh, I don't want to use any dark elixir because... Uh, I'm trying to save it up for my royal champion. I mean, I could research some of these. 
um but i don't want to because i'm trying to save up for my walls but uh but yeah so you know just figuring that out i really didn't mean to lock my phone but whatever happens um but uh but yeah so just figuring that out um, I got a decent amount of stuff in my treasury. If I had time for my troops to be done being trained, I would do it. But uh, I'm thinking that I might just end the video there and um, have a little bit shorter of a video. Um, I mean, 20 minutes is still a decent amount of time. I know you guys said you liked them closer to uh, 30, but, you know, sometimes it is a little hard to be able to uh, do that. Actually, <laughs> actually, <laughs> There is one more thing I could showcase off. So someone was talking to me saying that they wish I had a another second account. One that was smaller, one that I could show off. So I actually do have a second account. One that I can show off. Ha 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 ha. Sheesh. Ah, sheesh. <sighs> so I have a town hall five that is right here. And the name of it is XP. Um, I have a whole second account, uh, this whole second, uh, clan. It's literally, um, the same clan, just number two. So, um, that's really cool. And I will put the second clan, uh, into the description of this video so that that way, uh, you guys are able to, um, that way you guys are able to join this one. This is more of like a feeder clan. Um, but it is okay because, uh, you know, the, for the fact that, um, you know, you guys are able to figure this out, but I am thinking I'm going to start adding this to, uh, the series and just kind of going off and showing you guys, um, what to do and just kind of how to fit, how to, how to kind of go about this. They gave me a lot of, a lot of stuff there. So, um, I'm just going to go through and upgrade these. I got three that are busy. So, um, oh yeah, because this, this in Tesla, I mean, what am I talking about? The gem box. Um, but yeah, so this is my town hall five. You guys were, uh, wanting me to kind of restart and show you guys what it would be like to start from the beginning. So I think I'm going to go on this journey and kind of like explain to you guys what I would do if, um, I restarted and got to the my level that I was at. Um, what I would say is that, um, the biggest thing you got to focus on are collectors. You got to get your collectors max. Once you get your collectors max, um, and I'm not going to do it right now because I got a two day boost. But once you get your collectors max, like you literally just start moving. So like the biggest thing is collectors. You get your collectors max, you start working on your defenses, get your defenses up. And then after that, you know, you're doing good. You start upgrading your, start researching your troops and you get them up. And then other than that, like it's just, it's just over. But I'm probably going to actually re upgrade my laboratory so that that way I can start getting my troop upgraded because that's like a really important thing. Um, but yeah, you just kind of you just kind of keep going from there, to be honest, and um, upgrading your storages so that that way um, stuff just kind of happens and takes place. But uh, I'm going to attack, I guess, this guy because he just has all his stuff spread out it makes no sense but uh but yeah so you just kind of uh work your way in here i mean it's pretty self-explanatory at this level for attacking anyways you know what i mean like there's not a lot of strategy to it because most people don't have strategies for their bases as you could tell this guy was garbage but uh but yeah you just kind of go in and kind of spam attack and just kind of get things breaking down as quick as you can and kind of uh do that and i'll do another attack too after this to kind of showcase what i was talking about um but yeah and then, so that was a quick attack, three stars, so that was cool. And then you train your troops again. I don't know how long they'll take. Um, I, I have no clue. But, uh, but yeah, so you just kind of do that. And uh, I'm, I'm going to do another attack. You know, it, the biggest thing when it comes to like, building a base when you're really lev low level is get your, get your town hall in a wall. 
see how my town hall is in a wall, see how my defenses are starting to be in a wall. Like your defenses are not as important at this level. Your resources are. That's the biggest thing I would stress about being at a low level. You got to get your resources protected because the whole point of this stage of the game is getting upgraded as quick as possible. And if your defenses, I mean, if your resources are constantly getting stolen from you, you will not be able to upgrade. And that's just what it is. So you really got to focus on, that's why I have my collectors on the inside and like that like stuff like that like normally you see my collectors on the outside when i get a high level where i'm at because your collectors don't really matter you get on and the amount of loot that you lost is just replenished from your collectors but at this level like people will really steal your loot so you really gotta you know do a good good job to be able to um do that so like for instance this is a good guy to showcase you see how this guy has his walls just around everything i wouldn't do that i would single out put my walls around the town hall and then put my claw storages around it and some collectors and then put walls around those and then put my defenses on the outside of my walls and just let my defenses just die because more than likely your defenses are going to still destroy a decent amount of stuff um they're just gonna uh and by the and and by the time they destroy everything they're not gonna have um enough uh they're not gonna have enough troops to destroy your your goods and that's what you need are your goods so like you know as i said it's pretty much a, a spam strategy at this level um i'm double siding the base kind of hitting it from two different angles to kind of make the attack go a little quicker um but like look like literally like um look how quick that was you know what i mean like because he had no walls and you know i mean maybe i do think that it is important to put some of your defenses in walls but it's not the most vital thing like you put your defenses not in walls it's it's okay you know what i mean like it's it's it you don't have that many walls at this level so it's okay if you don't but yeah i'm gonna come in get another three stars so that's goaded because i have a star loot bonus that i'm about to get sheesh ah, sheesh <laughs> that's dope <laughs> oh man but yeah so that's just that and then i'm gonna train these up here it says i got five minutes left but uh i'm gonna uh end up ending the video here in a second after i finish my thoughts on this uh lower base is you just upgrade and you just keep your you keep your um resources on the inside as i said you know what i mean like this isn't a bad strategy um i got my my cannons you know hidden behind my army camp and the collector in here so he's not the first thing being targeted my archers are behind a wall same thing with my cannons but in the end but and the most essential on the inside is all of my collectors and my storages so that's the biggest thing i would say is just keeping up on your resources at this level i will keep upgrading this and working my way to a town hall six seven eight nine ten all the way up to where i'm at now um but i always will keep my main base spectrum xp so i don't think that's going anywhere that's my favorite account i've had that account my whole life so it's definitely not going anywhere but i did want to do this for the people who are wanting it to kind of showcase what it would look like to restart from a beginning level standpoint so um yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of daily dose of clash of clans if you did like subscribe comment hit that notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content and uh this has been your boy spectrum xp deuces everybody this for the enemies i'm praying for this that new sunday church banger we in the latest here uh. y'all gonna go hate on the greatest uh. come on